another day of COVID-19 panic. I'm sure many of you are growing sick and tired of being sick and tired. The media is doing a great job at keeping you scared to death. But if you just take some time and go over to the CDC's provisional death counts for coronavirus disease, COVID-19, you're going to find that the death rate is almost dropped to zero. In fact, it all but has. Any second spike in deaths that they warned of ha happened around July 1st, and since then the numbers have drastically reduced. I just checked out this week's numbers, less than 1,000, uh, which means that these numbers are not increasing in any appreciable way. Testing is increasing, and positive patients are, but we'll get to that. Did you know the CDC is being influenced by corporate and political interests? Well, take a read here at the Hill. This is a great article which really lays bare the corrupt nature of the CDC. Selfer, safer, healthier people is, couldn't be further from the truth. Are you scared that COVID-19 immunity won't last? Well, please don't be. Because antibody counts show that 85% of the people that are infected ha already have immunity. That's why they don't get uh, serious illness. 85% that get infected have immunity. That means they have antibodies already. That means that 85% of the people that get infected, well, where is that paper? 85% of the people that get infected, according to this paper, which just came out on July 29th, three days ago, 85% of the people that are infected, I'm sorry, 83%, <laughs> show immunity. But 35% also show immunity that are not infected. Wow. Why some people who haven't had COVID-19 might already have some immunity? Well, read the paper. SARS-CoV-1 has been around the world for over a decade. Maybe it created SARS-CoV-1.5, and we all got exposed to that, and lots of us are immune. Now, if we know from a breakthrough paper just days ago that many people, up to 85% of those that are infected, have immune response, then we don't need a vaccine. That's based on science. Not only that, Newsweek published a Harvey A. Reich opinion piece. Now, he's a PhD professor of epidemiology at Yale School of Public Health that sits on eight of the top journals in epidemiology. He says that peer-reviewed studies show early low-dose hydroxychloroquine plus zinc and zithromycin are equivalent to a vaccine with over 99% success rate. But the powers that be that are running the world, the corporatocracy, the insane elites, they have something else to say. Let's listen to Bill in his own words on why everyone needs his vaccine. Eight billion times five, wow. That's a lot of money, Bill. In my lifetime, there this will be the greatest economic hit, but you don't. Wait a minute. The biggest economic hit in what? You're like a multi-billionaire. Even if you lose a billion, you're still a multi-billionaire. So clearly we can see that he is completely out of touch. Now let's get back to the out of touch schmuck that is Bill Gates, who, by the way, can't control a virus in a computer system that he created, but he's going to control a virus on the planet. Now let's see what he has to say after he has, well, anyway, let's hear what he has to say. In my lifetime, there, this will be the greatest economic hit, but you don't have a choice. People act like you have a choice. People don't feel like going to the stadium uh, when they might get infected. You know, it, it's not the government who's saying, okay, just ignore this disease and, you know. Well, who's the government? Who's saying it, Bill? People are deeply affected. And who is this woman? 
by seeing these deaths, by knowing they could be part of the transmission chain and you know, old people, uh, their parents, their grandparents could be affected by this. And so you don't, you know, you don't get to say, uh, ignore uh, what's going on here. There, are, there will be the ability, particularly in rich countries, to open up if things... Particularly in rich countries. What he's alluding to here is if you live in a third world country, you are screwed. He's coming for you and he's sticking you with the vaccine. If you live in a rich country where we have some, some rules, some will be able to opt out. I hope that's the case, Bill. If not, we'll probably all be coming for you are done well over the next few months let's but will be the ability particularly what's going on here there are there will be the ability particularly in rich countries to open up if things are done well over the, there will be the ability particularly in rich countries the ability particularly in rich countries to open up if things are done well over the next few months but for the world at large normalcy only returns when we've largely vaccinated the entire global population. The entire Isn't that hilarious? He starts to laugh. Look at this schmuck. Let's do it again. Look at his hands up in the air. Look at this maniac. And listen to the maniac that controls the world you live in. Do it now. Vaccinated the entire global population. The entire population. But... For the world at large, normalcy only returns when we've largely vaccinated the entire global population. Normalcy <laughs> only returns. That's hilarious, Bill. <laughs> I'm a trillionaire. When we've largely vaccinated the entire global population. The entire population. Oh, oh. My God, that's who runs the world, the elites, not you, not governments, schmucks that are vaccinating the world. And if you have enough money, you might be able to eliminate the vaccine. But if you don't, well, according to Bill, you're fluxed. But for the world at large, normalcy only returns when we've largely vaccinated the entire global population. The entire population. <laughs> Share this with like-minded people. We have been demonetized. This probably will be removed. Be safe. We love you. And that is a really creepy boom. Based on no science whatsoever.